Is, uh, we'll have questions about Diana. This is uh, Randy's book. Call her Miss Ross. It is so hot my fingers are burning. <laughs> this is Rock's book about his dad. Yule, the man who would be king. A reference, obviously, Rock, to his, his fabled and Oscar-winning performance as the king and I. Mm -hmm. Was he that person? Was he that strutting, exotic, royal person? Well, the king was a character who he created and helped Rogers and Hammerstein create this character. Uh, and he did this at the age of 31 when he was at his creative height. I should mention that unlike Nigel and Randy and Barbara, I've written a book about my own father, a man who I loved very dearly, who was an extraordinary character. And I've written a book to celebrate his achievements as well as to assess his failings. Is it Daddy Dearest? It's about as much like Mommy Dearest as Yul Brynner looked like Joan Crawford. <laughs> it's, uh, we it's... stayed here for the record. Yul Brynner did not look like Joan Crawford. When he won the Oscar, how did that change his life? Uh, his life had already been transformed by the four years he spent doing The King and I, first uh, on Broadway and then touring America, and then by The Ten Commandments, which he did with uh, one of the few directors he really admired, which was Cecil B. DeMille. And uh, he won the Academy Award in 1956 for The King and I and was then able to do the films that he wanted to do. We have a shot of you as a youngster with your dad. Mm -hmm. Take a look down memory lane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your mom's name was Virginia? Virginia Gilmore, who was, was a major film star before Yule was known at all. The first of his four wives, was it? Yes. Okay, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about his explosive personality and his background. Was he indeed the son of gypsies, as he has so long told us that and other mm -hmm. things? Yul Brenna's the next one. We'll be right back.